Hello, my awesome and amazing Sagittariuses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Sagittarius viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Let's see here. Got the power of number four. Number seven. And five. Looks like we're going to the number 16. 16 in tarot is the tower card. Your person's going through a tower moment. Or they're about ready to go through one. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing the song from Glenn Fry. The heat is on. The heat is on for them. They've got some massive karma that's going on or is going to be hitting them up or has been hitting them up for quite a while. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. However, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Strong Sagittarius energy coming in through the number 14, Aquarius energy through the number 17, Capricorn energy coming in again through the number 15, Scorpio and Aries energy through the number 16. Some of you were born in 1951, 1954, 1956, or 1957. Others of you were born in 1961, 1964, 1965, or 1967. And for others of you, you could have been born in 1971, 1974, 1975, or 1976. You could be 41, 45, 46, or 47 years of age. Others of you could be 51, 54, 56, 57, 61, 64, 65, or even possibly 67 years of age for my more mature audience. But either way... Sag, we're going to go to the number 16, messages from your specific person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And 16. Trusted ancestors of my Sagittarius viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, or messages from Sagittarius person unto them? Show me what's going on with them. They're wanting a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. I also feel here, too, that they are physically missing your presence and the physical intimacy between the two of you. A lot of sexual energy that's going on through the Ace of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius more specifically. Ace of Wands. Fresh new start, brand new beginning. Temperance, Sagittarius, listen, they're thinking about you. Mm-hmm. Some of you Saggies even went back to school, just FYI. They want to reconcile with you. This is healing, cleansing, renewal, an ebb and flow, balance, spiritual protection. God, there you go. Power of the numbers. Number 16 tower card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries more specifically. They're going through a tower moment. Bottom line, when they come back, it's going to be a shock, Sag.
I just heard the statement again from Spirit. All that glitters is not gold. Whoever, whatever they went off to, didn't turn out for them. Yep, nope, didn't turn out for them. Despair. They're in despair without you, Sag. Why are they wanting to reconcile? Because there's a change. They probably want to move in with you or they're going to ask you to move in with them. Some of you Saggies could have moved and they could have found out about it. There's a change coming. They're heavily concerned. They're concerned about this connection. There's a wake-up call. This person is getting their karma, Sag. Bottom line. Something did not work out for them. Nope. Huh. In the past, my love life isn't really a priority at the moment, even though they were showing you otherwise. So they were really wearing a false mask, Sagittarius. Priorities. They weren't making you their number one priority. It was because they had a choice to make. That's why. they Deep down inside, it, the bottom line, black and white, they had a choice. They didn't choose you for the long term. So whoever, again, whoever they went off to, yeah, now they're in despair. They should have thought things through. Collaborate. I wonder what would happen if we joined forces. See, they're questioning themselves. Did they make the right choice between you and someone else? What if I could have become a power couple with Sag? What if that was my true person, meaning Sag? <laughs> they're besides themselves, but they want to collaborate. What if Sag is my person? I know you're my soulmate. Oh, they had a wake up call, Sag. Yes, they did. Mm hmm. It's the inevitable. You kind of know deep down inside, even if this person hasn't come back to you just yet, you know that they're coming back. They want you to trust them again. The situation is calling for you to have faith. What goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. They were trying to control things, let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Some of you guys were trying to rush or chase after this person, but for a lot of you, it backfired on you. See, nobody likes to feel that way, like they're being pushed into a corner. How would you feel if somebody was chasing you that you don't want to talk to in that moment? You feel uncomfortable, right? So there was some, there were control issues that were going on. And, you know, in truth, you were trying to get answers out of them. I get it. But when somebody doesn't want to talk, they don't want to talk. But they got their just goods. They're in despair. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. A lot of you guys are manifesting for this person using your guided affirmations, uh, EFT, uh, shamanic tapping. You could also be doing your candle work. 
uh, things like that. However, this person might have had a spiritual wake up call. There could have also been religious differences between the two of you. Okay. So there is, to me, with the religious factors, that is, to me, it's a soul connection with that card. Mm -hmm. They want to balance this out. See, in the past, they were one-sided. They were giving time and energy to other people, places, things, or situations. And that's the reason why they're in despair. They were giving their time and energy to the wrong people. Six of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn more specifically. In order for this person to mask over their pain or to mask over, they've been delaying things. They've been procrastinating. So they're being very much over self-indulgent. Yeah. They're being self-indulgent because they don't want to, it's so intense for them to have to deal with how they feel about you. Five of Swords, but they want to feel victorious in the future. Feels to me that with the Five of Swords, they're wanting to win you over. Some of you are dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and I also got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini coming in. But when you get tailwind that your person's not dealing with that third party, you're going to feel like the victorious one, Sag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not the same person. Yeah, because they're in despair. They don't know who they are now, right now. They thought they were making the right choice by leaving you behind. Please be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. Yeah. Even if they went to the third party, they had no intention to give that third party a real commitment. So don't be fooled. Okay. This stems possibly from their childhood. If they had a really poor upbringing, they didn't have stability. That's the reason why they ran from the connection. moving on with my life you know that could be you because there is a change card maybe you did move on from them and they're feeling the burn for some of you guys in that situation they're feeling the burn you could have already told them say you know what i'm no I'm, I'm not taking you back but could also tell the karmic and give them an excuse but not exactly say who they're going back to and just tell the karmic oh you know i just i gotta move on with my life They got a tower. In order to ease their mind, they want you to knock on their door. Don't do it. This person has to know how to level up and own up to their mistakes and take full responsibility for their actions, Sag. Let them fester. Let them stew and brew. Okay? This was, this was going to happen. This was always going to happen when the moment they walked away from you. So we're going to leave it at that, okay? 
my awesome and amazing Sagittariuses, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. If you like this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.